Okay, hello, welcome back, vecinas. How are you? It is officially summertime in New York. Yo tengo mardito calor. I have not had the opportunity to buy an AC yet because I've been traveling so much and I'm getting ready to leave again. And your girl, listen, this is love and dedication because I am melting under here. I have this light. It is it's so hot, I don't got no AC. I'm gonna take off this face and take the coldest shower and go to bed. Lord, I need to order my AC immediately because I can't live like this. It's too hot, it's too hot in this Bronx apartment right now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ada of all things Ada, all things Ada in English. If you can't pronounce the Spanish pronunciation of my name. If this is your first time here, stop what you're doing. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I promise you, you're gonna be hooked. You're gonna love my videos, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm a little relatable and I just, you know, a little spark to your day. And if you're a regular, hey girl, hey, hey Vecina, how you doing? Thank you so much for the constant love and support. Like, honestly, there's some days that I'm like, why am I doing this? And then like, you guys just be making my day and be making a girl feel good about work and all the hard work that I constantly put into my channel. I know I have a very small following, but you guys are so freaking engaged and, and so proactive and always showing me love. And it honestly, like, it just, you guys are my why. This is why I do what I do. Like, you literally make my day every single day. So thank you so much for all the love and support. I wanted to do a quick, fun makeup tutorial because, girl, let me tell you, Latinas are killing it right now. Not that we haven't before, but I just feel like, thanks to social media and everything that's going on and, and digital marketing and all, all that stuff, like, we finally have arrived we are here we are here um and not even latinas just women of color period we are here we are in your face and we are not going anywhere and it just makes me so freaking happy and i was like i just gotta i gotta do a makeup tutorial with this palette because i just gotta support and show love like you don't understand how happy it makes me to see us shining, to see us winning, to see us moving ahead, to see us paving the way for the future girls that are coming after us. And I'm getting chills right now because this is, this is exactly why I started my blog because I didn't see none of us. I didn't see us out here in the digital space, but I saw us daily on the street. So I was like, how can I represent for the girls that I see out on the street here? and show up and show out, which is what I try to do every day. So anyways, let me, let me, let's get into the video. So recently I got a BoxyCharm and I don't know if you guys have seen this around the internet, but BoxyCharm is a subscription box service. And I've actually had my eye on BoxyCharm for a minute because I quickly saw that compared to the other subscription box services, they were sending full size samples, which is very important for me because one of the main reasons why I never signed up for like Ipsy or any of those other subscription boxes is because they tend to send out samples and I hate samples. Like just send me the full size. If I don't like it, I'll give it to a friend. But the, like those little tiny samples be getting on my nerves, like having so many of them. And don't don't get me wrong I love my little travel size and my little sample stuff especially for when I'm traveling like I love the ones for Sephora I have if you if you follow my traveling stuff you know that I keep a box of like samples and travel size products so that when it's time for me to get ready to pack especially if I'm taking a carry-on I just usually grab items from that box but I don't want to receive like samples every single month like and just have them pile up these little tiny samples everywhere like no I just rather get the full size thing and if I don't like it I will give it away to someone that will so I noticed that BoxyCharm gives full-size products and it's always a variety of products and it's so affordable it's $21 a month I was like what so I had been eyeing it for a while I had been seeing like people getting the boxes and everything and I was like ooh, like that actually sounds like a bomb subscription service compared to the other other ones I've seen so long and behold they actually sent me a box and I was like oh thank you so much like Wow, did I just manifest BoxyCharm in my mailbox? Cause I, I've been peeping y'all. I've been peeping y'all. And they're based in Miami, which you guys know that I lived in Miami for a year and a half when I went to college. So shout out to all my 305 girls. I see you too. Um, so you get four to five full size products for $21. Like I mentioned, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to do this video to show love and support to one of the products that I'm really excited about that was in, in this month's box but you know what i might have to do this more frequently maybe unboxings because i really love 
this damn BoxyCharm. So in this month's BoxyCharm box, the big thing that I was super excited about is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. Like, look at this beauty. Oh, I'm obsessed. So if you guys follow Kathleen Light, one of her friends and also her makeup artist for a lot of her shoots for her nail polish line, her name is Gabby. And Gabby is the one that actually launched this line. And the name of the line is called Alamar Cosmetics because it is the town that she's from in Cuba before she migrated here to the United States to Miami. So I just loved how she's incorporating so much of her Cuban culture, so much of her Caribbean culture into the cosmetics line. They launched with this palette and like a brush set. And when I saw the launch, I just absolutely loved everything. I love the vibes. I love the marketing. Obviously I'm Latina. So anytime there's another Latina out here grinding and winning, obviously I want to support and the colors look beautiful. And a few of you guys actually tagged me on their page, um, tagged me on the palette to check it out. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to order that palette and check it out. And then long and behold it came in my boxy charm box so it has eight beautiful colors four of them um can be used wet and then the other four are matte colors the wet ones are like shimmery colors this is just a great versatile palette it's so bomb for summer because you can create so many looks and obviously like if you know me you know that i'm a huge celia fan i love celia cruz if you haven't watched her novella on netflix like you need to do so asap so it was really hard to pick what look i was gonna do today but i was like that celia color looks so beautiful it's like an emerald jady green shimmery i don't even know how to explain it so i tried to use most of the colors in the palette i think i did end up using all of the colors if you watch the tutorial but this was the baby that i'm like most excited about that was in the palette and this palette don't quote me but i want to say it was like maybe 40 something dollars so the fact that you're getting it in the boxy charm box and the box is only 21 dollars like come on you don't have to have had an a plus in math to calculate that and know that you are getting a deal and you know me you know i love a good deal bueno bonito y barato is my go-to so yes like this right here they won me over with just this palette in the box but in addition to the palette in the box you also got the sol de janeiro travel size bum bum cream if you haven't tried this before it is amazing let me tell you i actually have the bigger um size bottle i love the way it smells it leaves a hint of like fine little shimmer on your skin it's so pretty and i'm so happy that they sent the travel size because i'm actually taking a carry-on for my next uh, trip overseas so this is going to come in handy and i just love like the little shimmer that it leaves on your body it's not like too much but it's just like a little glow in the sun and this smells divine if you have not tried this or smelled it next time you go to sephora just like put some all over your body and girl like it is everything we also got a pair of false lashes from baddington lashes which I actually have on in the box there was also a liquid lipstick from ofra in verona it's like this pretty like matte brownie nudie type of color and there was also this brown liner from jante blue dark brown eyeliner pencil and last but not least inside the box there was also three luxie brushes which if you guys haven't tried the brushes they are amazing i cannot find the brushes for the life of me i was like cleaning up my living room today so that i can film and i don't know where the hell i put the brushes and i'm so pissed because i really wanted to use them when i was applying my makeup because i love their brushes but you get three brushes three whole brushes i mean the value of this box is way more than $21 so if you are curious um, to try new makeup if you're someone who is just getting into makeup and like you don't really know what you should be getting and you don't really want to spend like all this money at once like I can't recommend BoxyCharm enough it's $21 and if I think if you sign up for like a three month membership it's like $19.99 but anyways like I said this video is not sponsored I just think it's such a great deal and I love a good deal so so how can I not tell you guys about it? I mean, all this makeup for $21, like you really can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong whether you're a beginner or like a makeup junkie. You, you are winning either way. So with that being said, let's get started with this Reina del Caribe look. For today's look, we are going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics palette found in June's BoxyCharm box. It has four matte colors and four shimmers, as I mentioned earlier. And we're going to be using the color Coco Taxi on the crease as a transition color. And we're going to blend that all the way up in there. I'm basically, basically going to use all the matte colors on my crease. 
Then I'm going to layer it with Juan Tanavera, and I'm gonna put that on the outer corners of my eyes and then just blend that inward. For more definition, I'm going to take the same brush and dip it into cafecito and put that on my outer V and then blend that in. I just want some really nice defined eyes. And just to blend all the colors together, I'm gonna take the color Tropico and I'm gonna put that right on top and then just marry all the colors together before we hop on over to the fun part, which is the shimmery shades. Next, I'm going to take the star of the show, which is Celia, and I really want the ultimate color payoff, so I went ahead and sprayed it with some setting spray first. I sprayed my brush with setting spray, then I tapped it into the color Celia, and I went ahead and patted that color all over my lid, and I just kept repeating that so that I could get the maximum color payoff. This color is so gorgeous, I can't even. <laughs> I really wanted this look to be dimensional, so I added the color Varadero right on the outer corners. And I went ahead and wet my brush as well so that I can get the ultimate color payoff. And I just focused on adding that to the very corners and then extending it out just a little bit so I can get almost like a cat eye effect. Don't be afraid to dip your brush back in Celia and Varadero to really make sure that the color pops. It's bound to happen. The more you blend, the more the color starts to fade. So I just like to go back in and add more color on top of what I already put down. For my lower lash line, I'm going to dip my brush into Coco Taxi and Tropico and just blend those two colors into my lower lash line. If you watch my videos long enough, you know that I cannot complete a makeup look without my inner eye highlight. So I'm gonna use the color La Costa and just put that right in my inner corner for that pop. For liner, I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner that came in the BoxyCharm box. And I'm gonna make sure that I keep that line very thin and very close to my lash line because I really wanna keep the focus on the eyes and the beautiful colors that I laid down. And if I do an exaggerated cat eye, it's just gonna be a little too much in my opinion. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep the line very thin and just extend it out a little bit so I can have a little baby cat eye, but nothing too crazy that's gonna distract from the pretty, pretty eyeshadow colors. One of my favorite tricks to clean up your cat eye is to use a flat brush dipped in a little bit of foundation or concealer. Just sweep it along the line and it's gonna give you that sharp, razor-like cat eye. To take it to the next level, I'm going to add some falsies, and these are the Baddington Lashes. They're 3D silk lashes. They came in the BoxyCharm box. I'm just gonna pop those suckers on, add mascara, and keep it moving. To bronze and contour my face, I'm going to use my favorite bronzer. It's by Becca and this color is a Bondi Beach, and I'm just going to use that sort of like a contour. So I'm just adding bronzer wherever I would normally contour to give myself a little chiseled look, and I'm going to add my favorite blush of all time, Milani Luminoso on the cheeks, you already know. And for highlight, I'm actually going to use the Alamar Cosmetics palette. So I'm using the color El Malecon, on my cheekbones and on my eyebrow to give it a little bit of a pop. And then for lips, obviously you're gonna keep those simple since the eyes are doing all the talking. And I'm using the Gen Nude Liner by Bare Minerals. I love this lip liner. And then for lips, for the lipstick, I'm going to do the Galactic. oh my God, what's this shade called? Galactic Bashful. It's a liquid lipstick and I absolutely love this color. Another one of my favorite nudes because it is pinky nude. It's so cute. 
And last but not least, I need to seal all of this with powder. It is summertime. I'm usually not oily or sweaty, but it just happens to happen in the summer. So I like to lock in all of my makeup with a nice setting powder. And this one from Bare Minerals I've been using for about a year and I absolutely love it, love it, love it. So I'm just putting that all over my face and we are done here. This I look so good. I can't yo no puedo. Yo no puedo sinceramente. Yo no la conozco. Like how? How is this so pretty? Like oh, obsessed. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. If you are as obsessed as I am with this look, please go ahead and like this video, leave me a comment, tell me what you think about this palette. I love it, like I said, not only because of, you know, the founder and the story behind it and because she's Latina, but I just love to see women win, period. So, especially women of color. I wish I was going somewhere because this is a whole entire vibe. I might just have to recreate this whole look when I'm on vacation so I can actually wear it somewhere because it is so perfect it's so cute especially with a head wrap by the way which is going to be my next video a lot of you guys have been asking me how i have been wrapping my hair um during my travels and all these cute little looks and head wraps that i've been doing so stay tuned for that video next thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye <laughs>